is Josh still there? Here now, hoping to uh, demystify the mystical with both empathy as well as logic. So ultimately, I never want to tell you what to believe and really hope to inspire you to question what you believe and why you believe it. So where does life begin? You know, I feel like we try to answer this question. It's the dawn of time, man. Where does life begin, man? I fear I don't have the words to describe this, you know, where does life begin? And I feel that uh, only George Carlin can truly help me out with this, you know. And uh, I, I like to quote George Carlin a lot. I find it to be very cathartic. And uh, I was telling jokes for smokes, Palm Springs, some George Carlin jokes. Thought it was, uh, thought it was cool. But I find it cathartic in these crazy times, you know, these uh, insurrection hearings at the January 6th riots, just abortion, new laws, and uh, Roe versus Wade being over, being, you know, might being overturned, and just this women's rights, the state that they're in, for so many reasons, is just, it's terrifying. So, you, man, oh boy. These conservatives really are something, aren't they? Man, they're all in favor of the unborn. They'll do anything for the unborn. But once you're born, you're on your own. Pro-life conservatives are obsessed with the fetus from conception to nine months. After that, they don't want to know about you. They don't want to hear from you. No, nothing. No neonatal care, no daycare, no head start, no school lunch, no food stunts, no welfare, no nothing. If you're pre-born, you're fine. If you're preschool, you're fucked. Conservatives don't give a shit about you until you reach military age. Military age. Then you're just fine. Just what they've been looking for. Man, conservatives want live babies so they can raise them to be dead soldiers. Pro-life. Pro-life. Man, these kind of people aren't pro-life. They're fucking killing doctors. What kind of pro-life is that? Man. They'll do anything they can to save a fetus, but if it grows up to be a doctor, they might just have to kill it. They're not pro-life. You know what they are? They're anti-women. Simple as that. Simple as it gets. They're just anti-women. They don't like them. They don't like women. They believe a woman's primary role is to function as a broodmare for the fucking state. You know what? Pro-life, you don't see many of these white anti-abortion women volunteering to have any black fetuses transplanted into their uteruses. Do you? No. You don't see any of them adopting a whole lot of crack babies, do you? No. That might be something Christ would do. Hmm. And you don't see a lot of these pro-life people dousing themselves in kerosene and lighting themselves on fire, you know? Morally committed religious people in South Vietnam knew how to stage a goddamn demonstration, didn't they? They knew how to put on a fucking protest. Light yourself on fire! Man, come on, you moral crusaders. Let's see a little smoke to match that fire in your belly. Here's another question I have. How come when it's us, it's an abortion? And when it's a chicken... It's an omelet. Are we so much better than chickens all of a sudden? When did this happen? Uh, we passed chickens in goodness. Name six ways that we're better than chickens. See, you can't do it. Man, you know why? Because chickens are decent people, man. Chickens are decent people. You don't see chickens hanging around drug gangs, do you? No, you don't see a chicken strapping up some guy to a chair and hooking up his nuts to a car battery, do you? No, doesn't happen, because chickens are decent people, man. Chickens are decent people, man. But let's get back to this abortion shit. Now, is a fetus a human being? I think this seems to be the central question. Is a fetus a human being? Well, if a fetus is a human being, how come the census doesn't count them? If a fetus is a human being, how come when there's a miscarriage, they don't have a funeral? If a fetus is a human being, how come people say, we have two children and one on the way, instead of saying, we have three children? People say life begins at conception. I say life began about a million billion years ago, and it's a continuous process. Continuous. Just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling on. 
That's where we're going, folks. Going away. <laughs> and you say, you know something? Listen, you can go back farther than that. What about the carbon atoms, huh? Human life could not exist without carbon. So is it just possible, just possible, that maybe we shouldn't be burning all this coal? Just looking for a little consistency in these anti-abortion arguments is all I'm saying. See, the really hardcore people will tell you life begins at fertilization. Fertilization. When the sperm fertilizes the egg, which is usually a few moments after the man says, Gee, honey, I was going to pull out, but the phone rang and it startled me. Fertilization. But even as, even after the egg is fertilization, ah, oh, fuck. But even after the egg is fertilized, okay, it's still six or seven days before it reaches the uterus and pregnancy begins. And not every egg makes it that far. So 80% of a woman's fertilized eggs are rinsed and flushed out of her body once a month during those delightful few days she has. They wind up on sanitary napkins, and yet they are fertilized eggs. So basically, what these anti-abortion people are telling us is that any woman who's had more than one period is a serial killer. Well, at least we can say they've gotten more consistent over the years, right? So for me, where does life begin? Which life would be my uh, response? Uh, the life in your cheek, you know... Or the life that began billions of years ago and it just continually evolving and it's continually in a process and it's rolling us by and rolling on by. And that's where we're going, folks. Pack your shit, folks, because we're going away. That's right, folks, we're going away. The earth is going to be fine. The people are fucked. The earth will be fine. Don't worry about the earth, all you pro-earth people. Earth will be fine. We're fucked. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope it's. Uh, hope you've enjoyed some of this. Hope you have a beautiful day. Take care of yourselves out there. Have some compassion for people, if possible.